A C-peptide test is crucial for understanding insulin production, especially in those on insulin therapy. If you're receiving insulin, testing should happen before any discontinuation to rule out severe insulin deficiency. Interestingly, a random sample with concurrent glucose taken within five hours of eating can often replace a formal C-peptide stimulation test for classification purposes. If your result is greater than or equal to 1.8 nanograms per milliliter or higher, the testing conditions are irrelevant. However, if it's below that and your glucose is under less than 70 milligrams per deciliter, or if you might have been fasting, consider retesting. Very low levels, like under less than 0.24 nanograms per milliliter, don't need a repeat. Values between 0.6 to 1.8 nanograms per milliliter can indicate type 1 diabetes or maturity onset diabetes of the young. But they can also appear in insulin-treated type 2 diabetes, especially in those with a normal or low BMI or after a long duration of the disease. Understanding these nuances can significantly impact diabetes management.